The Logitech G915 TKL is my recent keyboard upgrade that I got, um, you know, about a year ago. So I've been using it for around a year and I've got some thoughts on it. And uh, I just wanted to share it with you in this three minute review. So let's get into it. Starting things off is the unboxing. In the box, you get the keyboard, a micro USB cable and the light speed USB dongle. My biggest complaint here is that the keyboard doesn't charge using USB-C for whatever reason. Seriously, Logitech, that is a premium keyboard and you can't just skimp out there. But at least they do leave a spot for the USB in case you need to store it somewhere. Aside from this though, my first impressions of the keyboard are really good. It's got this nice aluminium and steel design and it weighs 810 grams, which is, for you Americans, I don't know, like two pounds. It's quite heavy, um, I will say that, but it does feel really high quality and premium. It's got this nice little aluminum sort of gray finish. Um, I don't know how to describe it. You can just look. I'm showing you B-roll right now. Yeah, it looks really nice. And there's hardly any flex, so it's gonna last a long time even if you do wear it down. Now let's talk about the keyboard itself. Now the keys actually do have a fair bit of rattle to them. They do shake, especially when you're sort of like brushing over the keyboard or you're just lightly resting your hands on it. They do rattle a fair bit. But in terms of how they actually sound with the key switches, I'm using brown switches. Um, they're tactile brown and this is how they sound. You can definitely appreciate it if you don't want those loud clicky switches. Looking at the keyboard layout itself, it's got a 10 keyless design which is really nice if you've never used the keypad and want to save yourself some extra room for your mouse. In terms of the layout, you've got all your normal keys and above that some extra buttons. The buttons on the left turn on the light speed function, enable the Bluetooth mode, change presets and change the brightness of the keyboard's RGB. On the right side, you've got your normal media buttons, play, pause, skip, etc., as well as a volume wheel and mute button. Additionally, there's a battery life indicator and caps lock light. Now with this robust keyboard design, it pretty much does everything you could want a keyboard to. Now in terms of wireless connectivity, you've got two options. So you've got Bluetooth, which is pretty simple. All you have to do is press the button and it should start the pairing mode, or you've got the little USB dongle that they give you. Now I do like this USB dongle because it doesn't stick out like some others that I have. Um, and it's quite handy and it works just flawlessly. Now, there's some latency to Bluetooth just because Bluetooth is a little bit slower, but when you're using the light speed feature, you cannot tell the difference. You would think that the keyboard is wired, you, you seriously can't tell. So anyone who tells you otherwise, either they're having placebo or they're just, I don't know, they're just, they're just a bit special. I tried out the Bluetooth by hooking it up to my phone and it worked perfectly fine. Yes, it's an iPhone and you can use it if you really want. I'd recommend using it with something like an iPad setup or something of that sort. Software wise, you get the Logitech G Hub, which isn't brilliant, but uh, you know, at least it's not Razer Synapse. I don't know. I definitely think though, overall, the best feature is the battery life. Now for reference, I don't use the keyboard with its RGB lighting on. I just don't like RGB altogether. That's why my PC is basically RGB-less. Now, when I'm using it without any RGB, I can last around three months on a full charge. And even then I don't often charge it to full. I just plug it into my, la uh, plug it into my computer, plug the cable in, charge it for maybe two hours and while I'm just working. So it's not charging very fast because it's just off USB on the computer. And yeah, it just lasts around three months, which is really handy. And I really love that about Logitech products. And that's why I recommend them personally, because I've got this G703 mouse as well. And this one lasts around two months as well. So yeah, definitely if you want some long lasting battery life, Logitech is the way to go. Thank you, Logitech. Overall, I really like this keyboard and it's gonna be sticking with me for around 10 years. Yes, it does have micro USB. And yes, it does have a bit of keyboard rattle on the keys. But overall, I can get over that for the fact that this keyboard is nice and high quality. And yeah, it's a nice keyboard. Although it is quite expensive at around 230 Australian dollars when it's on sale. Would I buy it for 350? Definitely not. Definitely, definitely not. But also, I'm not the type of person to buy a keyboard for 350 Australian dollars in the first place. So yeah, definitely on sale, 230, not a bad deal. If you wanna buy one, I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if this video is in any way helpful. And as always, I'm TechBiz and I'm out.